hi guys welcome back to another video now many of you all have emailed me and have dm me on instagram asking me when are the recent changes regarding uk visas going to be implemented is it going to impact health and care workers because most of my followers on instagram and youtube are health workers in the uk and to be very fair i think this deserves a video of itself so today's video is going to be all about this discussion whether the salary threshold changes are going to impact healthcare workers whether healthcare professionals can continue to get their dependents along with them and finally what's happening to the shortage occupation list in the uk so if you are a healthcare professional planning to migrate to the uk in 2024 or 2025 this video is for you but if you haven't already followed me on instagram do remember to follow me there cuz i give you tips not only about life in the uk but also how to create job applications land those interviews and finally start living your best life if it is your dream to come to the uk so let's dive right into today's content so on 4th of december 2023 the home secretary of the uk had said that he was going to issue the five point plan system which is going to impact not only the student visa but also the skilled worker visa and the psw and all other visas now as a part of this plan he proposed several changes but there was no clear clarity on when these changes would come into effect they said roughly that it would come into effect in spring 2024 which is somewhere around march and april but in the last two days they've actually put out a document which states exactly when these changes are going to happen and what these changes are going to be and who is going to be impacted in this now if you would like the link to any of the pictures that i show you on the screen right now they're all going to be found in the description box below so don't forget to check them out for yourselves but let's just see what the first update is so the first massive update, like you can see on your screen, is that social care workers will not be allowed to bring their dependents, that is their partners or children. Now, again, I want to highlight the fact over here that this is only saying care workers. So now, again, over here, I just want to highlight the fact that they are saying social care workers and not health care professionals. So see, for example, if you are a health care professional applying under the health and care worker visa, Hopefully, fingers crossed, this rule does not apply to you and you will continue to apply under the health and care worker visa and bring your family along with you. That is your spouse, that is your husband or wife and your children. The second rule that you can see over there is that they wanted to raise the baseline minimum salary threshold for sponsorship for skilled worker visa from £26,200 to £38,700. And now again, the good news is that it is not applicable to health and care worker visa because most of us fall on the shortage occupation list and we have very low salary thresholds to be eligible for our visa as compared to some of the other skilled worker professionals. Now, for some of you out there who are thinking about, oh gosh, how much is 38,700? Let me put this into perspective. So if you are a band five or if you are a band six, let's just say, for example, the starting salary for a band six in the UK right now is 35,000. Pounds. So according to this threshold, you would have to definitely be higher than a band six. So it need to be at least a band seven. So personally, I am really glad that this rule is not applicable to health and care workers at the minute. And also teachers and social care workers are also exempt from the minimum salary threshold. Now, recently, I put out a poll on Instagram where I asked people if they would be interested in coming to UK to study or for work. And interestingly enough, nearly 50% of y'all said that y'all would be interested to come to the UK to study. Now, one of the biggest catchwords for people to come to the UK to study is the graduate scheme, that is the PSW. So many of y'all are looking forward to potentially coming to the UK, working on the PSW for about two years before you'll land a more permanent job. And again, as a part of this minimum salary threshold discussion, a lot of y'all were worried about if this rule is going to be applied to you if you are sort of completing your student visa and looking to transition to your PSW. So as of right now, if you are somebody who is planning to come into the UK and study or if you are already on a PSW visa, fingers crossed this rule does not apply to you. This rule primarily stands for people who are coming and making their initial applications from abroad that is from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Philippines or any other country. The next change was that they were proposing to make changes to the shortage occupation list. Now, I know there are many of you all out there who are physios, OTs, speech and language therapists or any other healthcare professional and you all were getting really concerned and worked up about this. And let me just reassure you that the vacancies in the NHS still stand. They haven't gone down. The recent reports haven't been put out. But just from my experience of working in the NHS, I know that the vacancies are still present. So hopefully because these vacancies still stand and even though UK has a long-term plan of increasing its sort of in-house that is the UK citizens to be healthcare professionals as of right now this sort of demand still exists in the UK and hopefully most of the healthcare professionals will continue to be on the shortage occupation list. 
but we haven't received any word about whether which occupations will be cut out and which occupations will be retained so hence i do not want to make a statement on this video but as soon as any changes come out i will update you the next rule is for those who are going to be on the spouse or the partner visa now if you are a dependent that is for example if i'm on a work visa my spouse will be on a dependent visa they wouldn't be on this special visa category which is the spouse or the partner visa only if you are a british citizen or somebody who holds an ilr that is your indefinite leave to remain will your applicant that is your dependent applicant your spouse or your children be considered on the partner visa or the spouse visa now they've suggested that obviously they wanted to increase the threshold for the minimum income for this particular visa category from 18600 pounds to right now 29000 pounds and the aim is to gradually increase it to 38700 pounds and finally the mac was saying that it would review the graduate visa which is nothing but the psw which allows two year unsponsored work permits for overseas graduates of british universities so as of right now they still haven't made a decision about whether they would like to retain the psw or shorten it or scrap it altogether so let's talk about when these changes are going to be implemented so as you can see right there the banning of newly arriving care workers from bringing their immediate family members which is their dependents will start from 11th of march 2024 so if you have applied for your visa say for example you are a care worker and you have applied for your visa before this particular date then most likely your dependents will be allowed to come along with you so if you are in the process guys for any of this please 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 do hurry up you do not have a lot of time on your hands just a little bit over a month which i think is perfect especially if you're applying for health and care worker visa the second thing that they have obviously said is that they are hoping that the skilled worker minimum salary increase is going to happen from the 4th of April, which is going to be the start of the new financial year, more or less. So they are expecting those sort of salary threshold minimum changes to be implemented from 4th of April onwards. So again, any application from that date onwards is going to have the new salary threshold in effect. The next thing is about the shortage occupation list. As I've told you before, that there is no recommendations from the MAC right now. But as you can see right there, initial changes to the shortage occupation list will also happen in April 2024. And the MAC advisory committee is actually working on its recommendations for the new list. So this will be coming out really soon in the next few months. The next thing is about the spouse and the partner visa. Again, this is sort of set to increase to £29,000 on the 11th of April. So as you can see, all of these changes are happening just around April. And finally, the Home Office was supposed to commission the MAC to begin work on the graduate visa review in Jan 2024. But this has not yet commenced. So they are sort of expecting a report about that in late 2024. That, that's in the later half of the year, sort of after mid-August. Now, again, I know there will be a few of you out there who will be concerned about, you know, saying, Nikita, do you think these changes will be implemented on the exact dates or do you think this is going to be pushed a little bit more? And to be honest, I think that it's going to be implemented on the dates that they have said. So again, I will leave the links for this in the description box below so that you are aware about it. But another question that I've heard many people ask recently is what about people in the UK? What happens to them if they want to sort of apply for these visas? And the answer is, the UK government has advised that if you are extending your visa, none of these rules will be applicable to you because obviously they do not want to impact the people who are already in the UK. These sort of rules that they are planning for is for in the future for people who are going to come to the UK. However, I think a question that personally stands for me is say, for example, if I am on the health and care worker visa right now, and if I have to change a job, I will have to apply for a new health and care worker visa using a COS, that is their certificate of sponsorship from my next employer. Now, the question I have in my mind is when I apply for that new visa, do I have to follow all of these rules? Now, obviously, I do understand that because I'm on the health and care worker visa, most of these rules are not applicable to me. But say, for example, if it was a skilled worker visa, would these rules be applicable? Not really sure about the situation, guys. So I, again, don't want to give you the wrong advice. But if you do know what happens, do let me know in the comment section below. But if you have any other questions, do drop them in the comments as well. I will try my best to answer them. I hope this file is useful to you. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care. Bye.